So PlayStation 5 has officially unveiled its pricing. So the, this is um, what the console is going to cost you in New Zealand dollars. So for the discless version, it will cost you um, over like $600. And for the disc version, it will cost you $800. I think it's um, a pretty good price. It's, uh, I mean, uh, it's like $100. I mean, the discless version is $100 more than the Xbox um, Series S. But... I think it honestly looks like a pretty good console. It honestly looks really cool, like I said in my last video. But I feel like that... I don't know. Should I go with the disc version or should I go with the discless version? Although that the disc version is much cheaper, I will not be able to put any disc in the games. But I don't know which is cheaper, digitally downloading the game or d buying the disc version of the game. But with the discless, there's like heaps of content on the PlayStation Network store. There probably might be some ex exclusive titles on there just to download, and I don't know, but with the disc vision it actually saves up space because most of the data is on the disc, but if I digitally download it, most of the data on the disc uh, will be on onto the memory, but I don't know, this is, this is, um, I don't know what version I'm going to get, but I think I'm going to get the discless version because it's way cheaper than the disc version, or maybe I could get the, I'll, I'll have to wait and see. But um, the PlayStation 5 was just honestly really cool. I cannot wait to buy this um, console when it comes out. And uh, looks like the, the pre-orders will be available early here in New Zealand, November 12th. So, cannot wait for this PlayStation 5 to kick off in 2020. So, yep, we'll see what happens.